Tsunami Mary Komi. Tsunami Mai Kami. I get it right? Tsunami Mary Komi. Something special about Soshin is not only can you have a great dinner, it's like a really chill vibe. The small businesses are the people that grew up in the community, grew up around the community, that are trying to use what they have to empower their community. Me, myself, growing up in a small community, even though it was in America, I understand that, you know, going back and, you know, spending your money in the local, you know, sandwich store, or the local, you know, meat market goes a long way. Hey Jackie, it's Stanley. Uh, good to see you again, man. I got an opportunity with MasterCard to give back to a frontline worker and it happened to be I get to use one of my favorite restaurants in Toronto. Um, so I use yours, Soshin, man. Thanks for all the good opportunities and the good times I had there. Um, hopefully we can make this frontline workers day and I hope to see you soon, man. We feel very honored that he loves our food and service and we actually treat him like a family. I had been an apprentice from a Japanese master for 12 years. I myself, being a Chinese, but uh, doing traditional Japanese cuisine, especially sushi, it's a very specialized uh, cuisine. We take everything very seriously, uh, from the fish and all the way, of course, the most important element here is the rice. We cook rice multiple times a day. We do import a lot of fish from Japan because the quality of the white fish that we get from Japan, it's just amazing. The staffs and colleagues are just like family. Having a good bond with everybody, it's a key to have great service. If we can do just these little things that to, to, to make them happier and uh, to make them warm, we can perhaps communicate through food and send them love through food as well. Over the dinner, there's always foods that you don't understand. And I feel like the more you can grow in any relationship is when you get uncomfortable and you have things in common. When I started dating my girlfriend, I actually took her on a date there. I love Japanese food. I love like Asian fusion food. You kind of get intricate fishes and intricate little dishes that you kind of have to open your mind up and wrap your mind around, but I love it. No, I've never had a bad meal there. is somebody who you know really cares about the restaurant. You can tell the food is made specially like day to day. You can tell it's just not some recipe. And that's what I enjoy the most. I enjoy feeling special, feeling like I'm taken care of. This is a dish that I think, you know, that I love and I know it reminds me of like happy times. The fact that I can hopefully give that good time to the person in the frontline worker will be more of the meaning that what's in this dish. First thing we opened up was a melon, and uh, you know, it's been, uh, it caught my eye right away, so I'm, I'm looking forward to digging into that. For sure. <laughs> mm. It's good, eh? Mm. So I think this is a truly good shared experience for all of us. You know, everyone can contribute somehow, and if it just makes somebody happy, then, you know, that can go a long way. I think small businesses are kind of the foundation of how you keep your community going. So putting your, you know, putting the money back into the system where you grow up at and where you live at is big.